In this video, you're gonna learn how to synchronize the lights on your Nano Control 2 with buttons in Main Stage 3. Hey everyone, I'm David from Sunday Sounds, where we believe in making software like MainStage fun and easy to use for worship musicians like you. Today's video tutorial is super practical. One of our favorite MIDI controllers to use with MainStage is the Korg Nano Control 2. It's inexpensive, super portable, nice and lightweight, and easy to use. And it has a ton of onboard buttons that light up when you press them, but by default, they don't stay lit or sync up with MainStage when you change patches. So in today's video, I wanna teach you how to make the lights on your Nano Control 2 synchronize and respond to your main stage buttons in the workspace. Before we dive into this tutorial, I wanna give a big shout out to several folks in the main stage community who were the first to figure out how to do this. There were a lot of us working on it all at once. And a great guy named Steve Case was the very first person that uh, I'm aware of that figured out how to do it and wrote out all the steps. So a uh, big thank you to Steve for sharing how to do this. Uh, a couple of years ago now so we could actually put this in the tutorial. So to start off with, you're gonna wanna pause this video and click the two links in the description to download a couple things from Korg's website. You need the Korg USB MIDI driver and the Korg Control Editor app. Once you've downloaded both of those files, again, the links are in the description, you wanna install both of those packages and then come back to this video so you can follow along. To start off with, make sure your Nano Control 2 is connected to your computer and go up and spotlight search for the Korg Control Editor app. And you may get an error message that says the Editor app is not optimized for your Mac if you're on a newer OS, but it's likely that it will still work for you just fine. It's just been a little while since Korg has updated the app. So go ahead and click OK to open it. And if your Nano Control 2 is correctly connected to your computer, you'll see it right here as a target device. So go ahead and click OK. Now you'll see an image of your Nano Control 2 on screen. The first thing you'll wanna do is click on Common here at the top and change the LED mode to External so that Main Stage can tell your Nano Control 2 to turn lights on or off. Next, you wanna scroll down this list until you see Solo Button 1. Click on that to highlight it and then scroll down a little bit further until you see record button eight. Hold shift down on your keyboard and click on record button eight to select all of the buttons in between so you don't have to do one at a time. Then you just need to change the button behavior to toggle. Now just click communication in the top toolbar and choose write scene data. Then click okay to save these settings to your Nano Control 2. Now don't stop watching this video because you're not done. If you do this and you take it over to main stage, then you're not gonna get proper button behavior. It's actually probably gonna break some of the assignments between your main stage concert and your Nano Control 2. So make sure you keep watching to catch the last step of this setup. I'm gonna go ahead and close the Korg Editor app. And then go over to main stage three. I have our Sunday Keys main stage template open, but you can do this in any main stage concert that you've assigned to your Nano Control 2. We're gonna go over to layout mode and click on each of the buttons that we need to have responsive lights while holding command on the keyboard. So we select all of them at once. And you need to make sure that you do this step. Otherwise, the data that comes in from your Nano Control 2 will be set to toggle, but MainStage won't know what to do with that data. So you'll get really unpredictable behavior. All right, so once you have all of the buttons selected, all you need to do is go over to the screen control inspector on the left side and change the type to absolute. When you do this, MainStage's CPU usage is probably gonna spike. MainStage may even freeze for 30 seconds or so while you make that change. If that doesn't happen, that's great. That doesn't mean that it didn't work. It just depends on the version of MainStage that you're using. Regardless, after a little bit of time, these settings will be baked into your MainStage concert and you'll be good to go. Now, in layout mode, you're probably gonna see all the buttons on your Nano Control 2 light up like they are here. But when you go over to edit mode and you have patches programmed with mappings on those buttons, then you'll actually see the lights respond and all the other lights will be turned off. So here I can change through patches and you'll see that the lights on the Nano Control 2 automatically take on the settings of the on-screen buttons. And that's all there is to it. This is a really simple way to give yourself a visual reference for what is happening inside of MainStage on your hardware. 
Now, the last thing I'll say is that we have experienced a little bit of quirkiness with this behavior when you have multiple mappings made to the same button. Main stage is gonna default to the behavior of the very first mapping made to that button. So if you click on a button that has multiple mappings, you can see down here at the bottom, uh, the scale parameter and the direction of the first mapping is what's going to determine the light state on your Nano Control 2. And we've noticed uh, at times it's not one-to-one -one, uh, when you have an inverted scale parameter, but uh, most of the time it's 100% uh, responsive. And if you're running into issues with lights being lit, when you first change to a patch that shouldn't be. Generally, that's because you have more than one mapping and you can click and drag the second or third mapping into that first position so that that is what sends the light on or light off notification to the Nano Control 2 instead of that inverted mapping. If you're using the Nano Control 2 with your main stage three rig, you've got to consider setting up these responsive lights. It's super helpful to have a simple visual reference for what's happening in main stage on your hardware which is exactly why we created this custom color-coded Nano Control 2 skin. The Nano Control 2 is our keyboard controller of choice for Sunday Keys for Ableton and Mainstage because it's inexpensive, it's simple to use, and easy to understand. And with this color-coded skin on top, it's a one-to-one -one visual representation of what you're seeing on screen. If you'd like to check out this custom skin, we'll include a link in the description of this video. We'll ship it to you with free shipping in the US and really low cost shipping anywhere else in the world. We'll also include a link to our popular Sunday Keys template for Main Stage and Ableton. If you want a done for you, go to Worship Keys resource, then Sunday Keys is it. If you don't wanna miss out on our future videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time we put out new tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.